Hello dear Edwiners, as you know, when we are creating virtual reality experience, one of the things that we can change is the environment. In CoSpaces, we can change the environment using predefined environments in CoSpaces, or we can upload a 360 photo. To upload the 360 photo, we have um, different ways of doing that. One of the possibilities is for us to take our own 360 photos. We can do that by using a 360 camera. That is one of the possibilities. Or we can use our smartphone, install an app such as Google Street View app to take the 360 photos. If you use the 360 camera or if we use the um, smartphone app, we just have to download these pictures to our computer and then we just need to go to environment and upload the 360 photo to CoSpaces. But if we didn't have the camera or we don't have a smartphone that allows us to take the 360 photos, we can get from the internet 360 photos, such the ones that you um, can explore, for example, on Google Maps or even in other web platforms. To do that, we have a solution. It's called Street View Panorama Download. This is the link that we use and this combines two different tasks for us to download the 360 photos first of all we need to download this software this is a, a small software it's called street view download 360 after you download it you just have to install it and once you have it installed it is a very easy to use software as you can see here you just need the ID of the panorama, the ID of the 360 photo. You need to give them a place, a location to save your photo. And here you need the resolution of the 360 photo that you want to save. But how can we get the panorama ID? To get the panorama ID, it's very easy. You just have to continue to the website, is iStreetView.com. And when you open the iStreetView, what you need to do is to search for a place where you want to get a 360 photo. In this example, when you start the iStreetView, it just goes to a random place and then you have to use the map trying to find the place that you want to take a 360 photo. In this case, as you can see, I, I'm already in Lisbon, but I will just zoom out to show you right now i'm here the yellow pin man if i want to go to lisbon i just have to type lisbon and then it's gonna take me directly to lisbon so this site is just used to get the id that we will copy and paste to the software that we have installed before i will just pick up the little pin yellow man okay i will bring it to here near Pick him up to Lisbon, okay, more close to Lisbon. And you can see when we are zooming in, all these blue lines and these blue dots are places that have 360 photos. So let's say for example, on Lisbon, we want to find the Tower of Belém. In Portuguese is Tor de Belém. Okay, so you just Pick the little yellow man. You can see that the tower is here. Let's try, for example, this photo here. There it is. Tor the line. But if this is not what I want, I just have to zoom in a little bit more. Let's see, I want one picture inside. Let's see if this one is suitable for the virtual reality experience that I want to create. This could be a good one. 
So when you have the 364 to that you want, just have to go here, click to copy. Then you go to the software. It's here. You just paste. Choose a resolution that fits. You don't need uh, such a high resolution. This one is okay. I will just choose a location to save my photo. Let's say my desktop. I will call Tower Belay. I will save it. And you just have to click Download Panorama. It will start in Download. finish and here you can see a preview of the 360 photo as you can see here we have the photo on my desktop there it is now I will open code spaces once again I will go to environment and I will click to upload a 360 photo is in my desktop open you just have to wait a few seconds for the photo to be uploaded there we have it one thing that we cannot change when we are using 360 photos on code spaces is the point of view of the camera from here when we have it of course we can go to our library and we can put some of the objects that we normally use when you are creating other virtual reality experience and we can do all the same interactions as we were using the typical background environment from CoSpaces. So this is another possibility that we can use to expand the way that we create virtual reality experience.